Coming up on today's episode, I get to interview my very good friend, my mentor and my colleague, Robert G. Smith, at his home in Oklahoma. Hello, welcome to DMTV, the place to be to take charge of your emotions and transform your life. Today is a very, very, very special day for me because I would like to introduce you to my friend and colleague and mentor, Robert Jean Smith, CEO of Skills to Change Institute and creator of Fast EFT and Utaptics the system that understands how the mind works and how to create good health and better relationships. Let me begin by asking you the first question. Mm -hmm. What has been the biggest challenge of your life, Robert? The biggest challenge? And I've had many challenges in my life. Mm -hmm. I would say the biggest challenge is probably in my professional life. Mm -hmm. Um, I've worked through a lot of the personal stuff, but the biggest challenge is being cyberbullied. Um, mm-hmm. So what, what made it so awful, Robert? What made it really bad was my, you know, not only my person was attacked, my mm-hmm. friends were attacked, they were, um, you know, articles, videos, they um, affected my business, mm-hmm. they affected my character, they hurt my friends. Um, it was just it was just a really low time. I mean, it's like, you know, people that I looked up to that I considered my mentors who helped me, and then it was a total turn against mm-hmm. me. And you know, logically, then I even though I kind of understood why, mm-hmm. but the sad thing was for me is that why you know why 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 this you know because you know I always always thought we was on the same team, and then. Mm-hmm. You know, my friends were being hurt. They were being attacked. There were letter articles were written to them. Professionals were called up, and they were just like it was just a massive. It was a massive thing against me, and it, it really depressed me. And even though I knew how to tap, I did tap, but it still, it was still there. You know. So, what was the lowest point, Robert? Oh, the lowest point. I remember, I was in Europe, and um, it's just like. It was like, you know, just just one of my friends were being attacked and they were really hurt. And, and then I was thinking, well, it's my fault. And then I was blaming myself. And I thought, you know, I just wanted to end it all. Mm-hmm. Logically, I knew it was a stupid idea and I would never have done it. But I just had to pull my head out of the cycle mm-hmm. of those thoughts, you know, all my friends, my life, my career my my family you know it was like there was nothing that they that wasn't attacked about mm-hmm. me personally mm-hmm. about my my everything the whole world and financially as well mm-hmm. so that my lowest point was like i should just quit give up but so did you get over it <coughs> did i get over it of course mm-hmm. i know of course what i did is i was feeling really bad I worked on it. I worked on it in my mind, of course. And again, it, this was not the first time that I had pressures. Mm-hmm. And I did the same thing as I did before. As I said, focus on what you want. Good man. Focus Good on man. what you want. Yeah. And so it was not easy, mm-hmm. but I kept focusing on what I wanted. And then, of course, I had my friends. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, have your friends who help you clear up your head even though I was clearing up my head it's like it's nice to have someone to not only listen to you Mm -hmm. but support you as well so what was the gift in it Robert um the best gift I would say or the, the the best thing about the whole thing is one it encouraged me to make what I was doing better Mm -hmm. it encouraged me to perfect what I was already doing and clean up the pieces that need to be cleaned up and it showed me more about business because I never knew anything about business. Mm-hmm. Um, it showed me how, who my friends were. Mm-hmm. It allowed me to find and create a team that mm-hmm. we all were working together. Mm-hmm. And we just kept working on it and, and mm-hmm. keep cleaning it up. 
Mm-hmm. And the and the biggest thing for me, it, it got to the point which, you know, I teach this stuff. I know this stuff. But even though it was so punching me in mm-hmm. the face, mm-hmm. I know that it's not about me. Mm-hmm. And I took it personal. And, you know, even though it was wrong, it still hurt me. So what I had to do is I said, well, um, I'll create a team together. We'll move forward. And... Um, over time, my persistence. And I think the biggest thing, if I could say it really that was a turning point, is that my value doesn't come from my oppressors. Amazing. So your value does not come from outside you. Right. Your value's inside you. That's mm-hmm. amazing. So what would you say, Robert, to someone out there who might be now just like you were Mm -hmm. back then, what would you say to them now? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's it's interesting because, you know, I do help a lot of people and, um, you know, individuals who's someone you loved and someone you trusted, they steal your money, they beat you, they take your children away, they do, Mm -hmm. uh, they tell all their friends horrible things about you that isn't true Mm -hmm. and when she's down, I will say this, focus on what you want and mm-hmm. move to that. Because when I was down, I was playing the worst scenarios. Mm-hmm. And the moment I said no, mm-hmm. that's when I started moving to what I want. And that, that's what it took work to get there. But focus on what you want and move to it. Mm-hmm. Stop making up the scary scenarios. That's so powerful and it will help so many people out there, Robert, and it's such a privilege to be here with you today and I thank you very much for that. So, the final question. Share your best wisdom Mm -hmm. in four words or less. It's pretty simple. Focus on what you want and move to it. Thank you so much. So, so very, very much. And thank you very much for joining us today. I'll be here next week again when we have more wisdom for you. Ordinary people, extraordinary stories.